Jesus asked Bartimaeus, as he asks you, as he asks me, what do you want me to do for you? It's just a really beautiful story in the scriptures today. It's Bartimaeus is along the side of the road, and obviously Jesus is somewhat famous. He's going around healing people and doing these miracles, and, and Bartimaeus is aware that Jesus is coming towards him. I love how the scripture says, he cries out, Lord, have mercy on me, have pity on me. People around him say, Bartimaeus, chill out, be quiet, shh. And I love it. He just cries out all the more, have mercy on me. And then Jesus says, let him come to me. And, and Bartimaeus approaches Jesus, and then Jesus asks that question. What do you want me to do for you? <laughs> what do you think? I mean, I, I'm blind. Jesus, what do you think I want from you? But there's something I think really important when Jesus asked Bartimaeus to actually name it. Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? That moment when we step out in faith and we actually have the courage, the belief, the faith to ask, to pray. Lord, Lord, I want to see. And we know the story. The Lord gives him his sight. The question is presented to each one of us today as well. What do you want me to do for you? And there's times that we wrestle with that because I think there's a part of us that are afraid to answer that question because we don't know if he's actually going to give us what we want or give us what we think we want or what we need. And, and yet there's something about us stepping out in faith and saying, Jesus, I need you to do this for me. There's a vulnerability. There's a walking on water when we say, Lord, I want to see. Now, I would love to be able to say that it's going to happen exactly like it did to Bartimaeus, but I know that that's not always the case. But what I do know is whatever the Lord does is what is going to be most loving, most consistent with his plan for our life. So today, I invite you to reflect on the scriptures, to reflect on that fundamental question Jesus is asking you, and to make a step in faith. What do you want me to do for you? May the Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.